Hello, welcome to another story. OP's wife come home and tells him that she cheated on him and she wants a divorce. The title of the story is Blindsided and Lost. D-Day was three days ago. I never thought I want to save a relationship like this. Every relationship I've been in since 14 years old has ended in infidelity. I, male, 28, been married twice and this is my second time I'm facing divorce for the same reason. But I actually want to save this marriage. We were so close, in love, and in, in my opinion, a perfect couple. I was blindsided three days ago when my wife, 29 female, told me she broke our wedding vows and we need to spend time apart. I obviously was in shock, but I wanted to fix it. Right away, I always imagined growing old with her. So I couldn't imagine life without her. I was ready to give her and start a healing process, which in my opinion would bring us closer than before. It hurts, but being without her hurts even more. She just wanted me to leave. Now I'm reeling with these thoughts. She doesn't seem like the person I knew last week. We were making plans for the future. Kids, birthday parties, summer vacations, ideas, etc. After leaving, I thought maybe this was a one-time thing and she would want to fix things. We were married for four years and together for nine years. So I figured maybe she felt like she made a mistake and we could work past it. After being apart for two nights, our ring camera has picked up the AP being invited over to our home to spend the night. Tonight, she went to AP's house. I was willing to try to fix things, but with her still seeing him, is tearing these feelings away. I'm so lost right now, and I'm afraid that this is it. My feelings for forgiveness and honesty, I'm so lost right now, and I'm afraid that this is it. My feelings for forgiveness are honestly what I believe could save us from this mistake, but I don't know if I can stay after knowing she's still seeing AP. These feelings of forgiveness are slowly fading, but my love for her could never. And I'm afraid that I'll take her back when she's ready. I want to work this out, but I don't know if it's possible at this point. Has anyone worked through something like this? Is it even possible? Edit. 24 hours after D-Day and being apart for the first time in nine years, we have spoken about taking some time apart and seeing how we feel in a couple of weeks or a month, but decided we would hold off on the divorce for now. We also told each other, I love you and hug. This felt like the usual I love you we would share, so I believe we both still share that same deep love, even if we are in this weird mess. This was before she had additional visits from AP. Edit two. We talked today. It's over. She said she want to be with AP. So just so everybody is aware of why I left, she was the earner for our home. I took care of our children for five years without a job. I always saw us together forever, so I never argued when everything was kept in her name. I have absolutely nothing. When I went to try and get some stuff, such as our $1,200 in savings, she refused and told me I needed to start over by myself without help like she did when we were together since I stayed at home with the kids. She threatened to make things difficult and take me to court and we have a four-year-old, so I don't want to lose anything anyway from her because we couldn't stay calm and come to an agreement. 
if anyone knows Ohio, it's not too kind to fathers. In addition to absolutely no money for a lawyer, she told me she removed my name from the lease, which was also in her name. So I wasn't allowed there anymore. I even wanted to take the firearms that were in my name, but she again threatened to be uncivil and go lawyer up. So I left those as well. So at this moment, I'm stuck walking down the street to McDonald's just for a minimum wage paycheck until I can at least buy a car. I have not a penny to my name. Reader's comment. You first need to set the boundaries. Doesn't she want to see the AP? Not in your house, not in your bed. Don't let her have the final decision. Go ahead with the papers and go completely no contact. There is no possibility of reconciliation while the affair is still going on. You deserve more than to be a second option. She may or may not think about after ducking AP in your bed. You are precious. Please make her understand your value. OP's response. Do you think forcing her hand would stress any future hope for reconciliation? Shouldn't I just let her figure things out on her own? I know it sounds stupid, but my anxiety for the future has been terrible, weighing heavy on my mind, but at this point in time, I still want to reconcile. I want to be kind, patient, and compassionate so we can heal if the time comes. I'm afraid this is only going to push her further away. Reader's comment. She knows that and she's taking advantage of it. She thinks she can have her cake and have you when she's ready. I know how you feel. I felt the same. I felt like we were so good together. No issues. We were friends and lovers. It was perfect. And then I started to see change. I still can't wrap my head around it, but I told him he could have her. He says he's sorry and he doesn't want that blah, 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 blah. But I would not be here for another second if I had confirmed that she was in the picture. She must know she can't treat you like that and just get away with it. You must show her that she has something to lose by continuing the affair. And you can't control her or the outcome of your relationship, but you can control your own life. Don't sit on the sideline. Shut the game down. OP's response. Compassion is still okay though, right? Like I can show her love, reinforce it by holding her, and at the same time explain that we can't reconcile or heal our relationship if he is still in the picture. Does that sound okay? Update. Significant of the affair left me penniless. So, just to quickly recap where we are at, about a week ago, I, 28 male, was told by my wife, 28 female, of three years, 11 months in Ohio, nine years total, that she had an affair and that she wanted me and my daughter from my first marriage to leave. I tried to reconcile as I was still so much in love with her. But after extending forgiveness, she told me she was choosing her affair partner and she wanted to divorce. This so blindsided me, it felt like a car accident. We were so close, never fought, and were making plans for the future a week ago. I asked her to hold off on any filings right now, even if she's getting impatient about it. She was the earner for our family as she had a high plan management job. I stayed home with our three children, which are 12, 9, and 4. Everything is in her name, car, bank, cell phone plan, and even our house lease. I never argued because I was so in love and thought we would be together forever. Honestly, I didn't think it would, ma would matter. 
Not even a week at the affair, she said she was taking me off the leaf, so I'm not welcome anymore. She refused to give me any of our savings so I could at least get a car for a job and even refused to let me take my firearms because I'm not in the right state of mind right now, which honestly is an excuse for God knows why. I'm perfectly fine and have even talked through this with several professionals and a clergy. She threatened me at this point by just fighting it out in court which I don't want to do. I'd rather be civil and do it with a mediator at best, especially since this is my second divorce and I have, especially since this is my second divorce and I had to fight through court with my first. She said I needed to start over and get everything myself like she did when we were together, meaning she worked and I stayed at home. I backed down, left the firearms, and asked if I could get them another day to which she said, maybe. What are my choices at this point? Is there anything I can do to get something or am I at her mercy? Edit. I made this post because I am very unaware about my rights in this situation. Most of this happened just earlier today. The point of this post was to see if I had any option because she was withholding all finances from me. I will call my attorney tomorrow to see if we'll give a consult without a deposit. Edit two, I went to see my lawyer. He wants a deposit, which I'm unable to do at this point in time. I'll talk to her lawyer and see what they offer but won't sign unless I'm in agreement. If we can't settle this civil, I have a job interview tomorrow and we'll save up in case. Thanks for all the hard truth and wake up messages. After living with and being in love for 10 years, it's hard to accept this has happened, but I'm slowly starting to think more clearly. I'm going to protect myself as best as I can in my situation. Reader's comment, you need a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer, but you need advice as to if you live in a community property state. You didn't mention the state you live in. In a community property state, such as California, any income, real estate, or other property acquired by either spouse during the marriage belongs to both spouses. Under community property laws, both spouses own everything equally, regardless of who purchased it or earned the income. A lawyer can protect your rights and ensure you get your share of assets, regardless of whose name they are in. In addition, a lawyer can represent you and ask the court to have her pay your legal fees since she's the one who is seeking a divorce. OP's response. Ohio. So that's out of the question. My area is also hard for men in custody court in general. They normally side with the female. Update. On Friday, my wife of four years told me she had an affair. She said over the last two years, I become angry or impatient whenever she would express her being overwhelmed or frustrated, usually with work, as she was the primary breadwinner. I was a stay-at-home dad. She threw in my face that I should have gotten a job to help. We had multiple conversations about my work, and I told her if she was too stressed about work to quit and I'll find a job. But it always landed on we have government help i.e. insurance and such so my working would only make our finances worse. We also have children so child care and other things would have been an issue. We always told each other we would divorce each other first before cheating as my first marriage ended the same way. I don't understand how she can be so selfish towards me and our children. I love her so much that I wanted to work through it. I could forgive her, 
we could move past this. She told me she wanted to be with her affair partner. How does someone throw away a family like it's a piece of trash? We were perfect, normal a week ago. This is so blindsided me. I thought we were so in love. We never fought and never argued from everyone's perspective, even mine. We were the perfect couple. I thought we were soulmates. Now it's like I never knew her. Reader's comment. I don't know your situation, but when I read this, the first thing that I think about is that you need to start valuing yourself as a person and an individual. It's very human to be hit hard by these types of things, but your value as a person is not defined by this. You had a feeling that she was your person, but she clearly proved to you that she wasn't and look at that as her doing you a favor and not as her taking away a part of you make it your mission for her actions not to hurt you equally of life instead of fight for what's right it may seem like the sky is falling but without fail the people who get through it realize it was just a bump in the road and their biggest regrets are more that they didn't value themselves through a breakup. OP's response, thank you so much. This hit pretty hard. Update, moving forward, I cut all contact with her besides anything having to do with our daughter. I started working and going to the gym again. She's acting spiteful and vindictive. She won't give me any of my things and has changed the locks. I talked to a lawyer and I'm waiting to receive a couple of paychecks so I can put down a deposit. It should honestly only take a couple of weeks to save up enough as my new job pays pretty well, which she complained was the main reason she left me because I didn't work and was a stay at home dad. It took me not even a week to find this place. I'm going to focus on myself and my daughter, grinding every day. I've been thinking and realized that I subconsciously accepted the role of a stay-at-home dad and sacrificed any career because I was so in love with her. I was like a puppy dog in her shadow. I'm starting to become happy being without her. I do still love her and feel heartbreak when I have those quiet moments to myself, but that quickly turns to anger when I think about everything she's done. I have much work to discover who I am without her, but I'm starting to feel more at peace with this situation and to be honest, excited for what the future holds. Readers comments, my man, you are relentless. 10 days out from a terrible betrayal and you are moving forward like a champ. Follow your lawyer's recommendation. Be sure to bring up the fact that you were the homemaker and primary child care provider. She may owe you alimony and or child support. Don't know you, but proud of your progress. OP's response. Thanks so much. That means a lot. Reader's comment. Did the lawyer suggest you contact the police in order to retrieve your belongings? OP's response. No. Just said if we can't come to an agreement over assets, then the court will make us sell it all and split the money, which is way more than I'm asking for. So it be, would be smart of her to just let me have my items. Here's my comments and what I think of this particular story. I'm glad OP is picking up the pieces and having faith in himself. I think OP's wife has a game plan. She's making sure OP has a steady income and has a place of his own so she will not have to play him at a morning. What do you think uh, about this story? Comment below and I'll see you in the next video.